<sighs> Broly is now canon. Yes, you heard that. Broly is canon. He isn't just a movie or video game character anymore. He is within the actual main story. This is because Broly is in the new Dragon Ball Super movie coming out this December 2018. The title was revealed to be Dragon Ball Super Broly. And since this movie is canon to the Dragon Ball Super continuity, it also means that anything and anyone within this movie is also canon. Therefore, Broly is now canon. Now, I never thought I would be saying this ever. If you asked me when I first started this channel, if Broly would ever be made canon, I would say hell no. He's a movie villain. That's it. That's all where I see him lie. And well, obviously, I was dead wrong. I was shocked this morning when I woke up and everyone was going AWOL over the news. I could not believe it. I just looked at my phone and did not get out of bed. I just sat there thinking about the movie that I began hyped over for many months. And now my hype was gone. I had laughed at anyone saying Broly would be in this movie. <laughs> He's already had three movies. He's done. He's not going to get another one. That's what I thought. I thought, why on earth would Broly be in this movie? He wasn't even created by Akira Toriyama, and Akira Toriyama is the one making this movie, or at least writing it. But, it's happening. I was slightly depressed. A fourth Broly movie, uh, In my opinion, the Broly trilogy was garbage. The first one was decent, but the second and third were just straight trash. This movie was supposed to mean more to me than Broly. This dude, right here, was supposed to be the new badass villain. But now, I don't really see him as a villain anymore. Is this dude Yamoshi, or is this guy actually Broly? Is this the new Broly? It doesn't really add up with what a thing I'll bring up later in this video, but is this dude a new guy? Is he just built up to be the villain in the actual promotion in the beginning, so that Broly could swiftly take his place? Well, it seems to be the latter, because Broly is now the villain. Although, I like the prospects of this Saiyan teaming up with Goku or Broly. It just doesn't get me as hyped anymore as it used to. For the first few hours, or actually more like hour and a half of, of me seeing this news, my hype for this movie was completely gone as a fan for this movie. I was like, oh no, I don't want this. Now, I was still hyped as a content creator because this would really probably bring the community back, There's especially a lot of people who love Broly. Broly is a very popular character, even though he is a very polarizing character as well. But after the first hour and a half or two hours, I started thinking, you know what? Maybe this does not deserve for this to happen. This, this movie does not deserve to lose all of my hype or a lot of other people's hype. I thought about how this could be a really different Broly since Toriyama was the one writing it. Toriyama did not create the original three Broly movies. He only designed the character. He didn't do any of the story. Now with Toriyama creating Broly and putting him into the Dragon Ball Super mythos, well, that would mean he would have to be different. There's no way that the, the events of what happened in the three movies actually happened within this continuity of Dragon Ball Kai and then Dragon Ball Super. So, he's gonna need a new backstory, he's gonna need maybe even a new look. Is he gonna be very similar at all to the original Broly? So my hype started just developing even further again. Now, still, my hype is not nearly as high as it was before this news came out. It's probably been cut in half. Maybe with some trailers coming out and more information in the next months, my hype will come back fully once again, maybe even get beyond 100% what it was, but I just doubt it. I just, it's a fourth Broly movie no matter what. And it's, ugh, I never really liked Broly, I liked his design, but that's about it. Still though, Toriyama did release a statement which made my hype go up even a bit more, and it coincided with what I thought, is that Toriyama might be doing Broly very differently because this is Toriyama using Broly this time. and. We're going to go into this statement, and we're going to read it, and we're going to analyze it, and kind of just go through and see, you know, it might not be as bad as a lot of us are thinking here, especially me. So, this is comments from Akira Toriyama. Everyone, are you familiar with Broly? Uh, duh. He's an incredible strong Saiyan who only appeared in the old anime movies, and I apparently at least drew the designs for him, but I had practically no involvement with the anime at the time, so I totally forgot about the story content. So, about Broly. I hear these days... He's still very popular not only in Japan, but also overseas. Based on that, my editor suggested we have Broly appear in the next movie. I went ahead and watched the movie from back then, and I felt this could be quite interesting once I rearranged some things. I got right to work trying my hand at a story that incorporates him into the Dragon Ball Super series. While keeping in mind Broly's classic image so as to not disappoint his fans, 
I updated him and added a new side to his character, I think this has resulted in a more fascinating Broly. Naturally, you'll get to see fierce combat, but also the paths of destiny that lead to an encounter between Goku, Vegeta, and Broly. It also involves the Frieza Force and the history of the Saiyans, which end up having a major connection to everything. The story content turns out to be very large scale and dramatic. Here comes that almighty Saiyan, Broly. I'm also including lots of other content all you fans will enjoy, so look forward to it and be patient a while longer for it all come together. Okay, so pretty interesting. I'm gonna go and kind of break down paragraph by paragraph. So again, in the second paragraph, the first full paragraph, Toriyama said he'd made the designs for Broly, but he'd had no involvement with the story in the anime movies. He'd actually forgotten about all the story content. And then he says, so about Broly. <laughs> and he says that Broly's still very popular in Japan and even more popular overseas. And based on that, his editor suggested that they have Broly appear in the movie. So this was just based on, you know, popularity, it's fan service, it's to make more money, which is the point of making a media like this anyways, is to make money. And so that's the only reason why Broly is in this movie, because they want to make money, not because it's a part of the story, which is kind of upsetting for me. Now, again, I'm a capitalist, so it's not like I'm against it, but I would still prefer something different, not a fourth Broly movie. But still, it gets better. Toriyama in the third paragraph, or the fourth paragraph states that he actually went back and watched the movies and he is going to rearrange some things. It's not going to be the actual Broly from those movies and he's going to actually find a way to take this rearranged Broly and incorporate him into the Dragon Ball Super series. And so he's keeping in mind Broly's classic image as stated in the fifth paragraph because he does not want to disappoint fans, which is good. If you change Broly's image, all the super fans of Broly are going to be pissed off. But he did say he's updating him, so he should likely have very similar design to the original Broly, and he's adding a new side to his character, which is great because his character was pretty shit in the movies. It was, oh, I hate Goku because Kakarot cried when he was a baby, and that was annoying. Okay, please add a new huge side to Broly's character because his character in the movies were absolute trash. And he even says, I think this has resulted in a more fascinating Broly. Thank God. So now to the fifth paragraph. You're saying we're going to see Goku and Vegeta against Broly, and that the Frieza Force will be involved as long as the history of the Saiyans, which is one of the things I am most excited about, and including him saying, which end up having a major connection to everything. The story content turns out to be a very large scale dramatic. Finally, I cannot wait to see that part of the movie at least. I'm so excited to learn the history of the Saiyans. So, while I'm still very hyped for this movie to see, again, more Dragon Ball, another Dragon Ball movie, which will be high quality animated, but we'll get to see the history of the Saiyans, the Frieza Force, a major connection between everything and on a dramatic large scale. Something that I really do want to see and I'm very excited for, even though Broly, I mean, I don't like him, but Toriyama is saying he's adding a new side to him and making him a more interesting and fascinating character, which, great. Also, final paragraph, Toriyama does say he's also including lots of other content that all you fans will enjoy, so look forward to it. So there's probably going to be a lot more fan service. Maybe Super Saiyan 4? I don't know. I doubt it. But then again, Broly's back for the fourth movie, so why not add Super Saiyan 4? Please. I would love that so much. But anyways, guys, I mean, Broly's back. Not only is he back, but Broly is canon now. Now... Of course, it's not the Broly of the original three movies that it's canon. It is Toriyama's own version of Broly. He's just taking that design and seemingly changing it a tiny bit, adding a new side to his character, and rearranging Broly to be able to fit within the Dragon Ball Super series, which, okay, it's not as bad as we thought at first. I'm excited for this movie. A lot of people are excited for this movie. The fact that Broly is back is trending everywhere, but still... I think this is a lazy choice overall. Broly for a fourth time. God, no. Why couldn't they have at least brought back one of the other villains like Janemba? Or actually having it so that it's just a completely new villain. But this brings me to ponder. Is this guy that was shown in the trailer, is he Broly? Is this that slightly redesigned Broly? Or is this like Yamoshi or just a different Saiyan? It makes me wonder because in the promotional poster... This looks like the actual Saiyan, kind of, but it also looks like Broly at the same time. So is this a redesigned Broly, or is this the Saiyan, the mysterious Saiyan that was in the trailer? And is that mysterious trailer villain Broly? It's really confusing. I don't really know, but I hope that that is not Broly. 
I hope that's a brand new character that we also get, and then we also get Broly as well. But anyways guys, that is really it. I overall am still hyped for the movie pretty much as a fan, and then as a content creator, extremely hyped for it, but overall not as hyped for it as I was yesterday <laughs> when I didn't know that this was going to be Broly for A New Hope. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Are you excited for Broly to be back? Are you ready to give Broly another chance with Toriyama redesigning his character? Let me know in the comments down below. Please do leave a like, comment, subscribe, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, turn on notifications, and hope you guys all have an amazing day. Peace out.